Hi everyone, this is Jyoti. Welcome to the advanced course that is data structures in Python. So I hope at this point the basic concept of Python coding and all are very clear. So now we'll be beginning with data structures. So okay, I'm going to answer first of all, what is data structures? So um, firstly, it's very, 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 very important. So let's see for first what they are. So actually, uh, if you guys have a bookshelf at your home, for example, so we, uh, we need to arrange books on the bookshelf. So we can arrange them horizontally or vertically or maybe diagonally this way or that way, right? So similarly, if we replace that books with data in computer science and arranging the data in computer's memory, storing it efficiently is what is done via data structures right and they are there are actually a lot of data structures in python so we we have uh, strings files lists dictionaries tuples and we are going to have a look at every one of them and any problem any problem you give you know in the interview or maybe solving any kind of program also so you can do via these data structures very 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 easily and very efficiently okay uh, so it's very important why is it important? Because almost every computer program I talk about, even a very simple one, requires data structure and algorithm. For example, you want to print a name list. Okay, if I want to print a name list, so that that also I require a loop, the algorithm, to print that continuously. And that data, that data has to be stored in some data structure, which is maybe an array. Right? So even such a simple program to printing a name list requires data structures right and why is it important for us or for grabbing a dream job that i'll tell you so why data structures is the question i'm answering today and you know our purpose is to get a dream job or maybe do freelancing after studying the course right so we need to be at the profile of a software engineer software developer data scientist machine learning engineers etc and we need to grab good projects in freelancing right so in interview, they are going to ask you a programming language, which is Python for us, and now we know that, and data structures and algorithm. And of course, they'll ask you a few questions related to machine learning and all, but data structures round is a non-skippable round. It will be, will be there. And who will ask? Any company you name, starting from startup to Google, Facebook, Amazon, Flipkart, Adobe, in middle all the companies, TCS, Infosys, HCL, Infotech, Wipro, Infoedge, any company, they are going to ask you data structures. This is something which is very, 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 very important for them because, you know, for any big firm, they actually need that data should be stored in the most efficient way possible because they have huge data, right? And um, now looking into the course curriculum, what is there in the course for you? So this actually consists of first week is strings, then it's files, list, dictionaries, tuples, and uh, we'll have a conversation ceremony once you complete the advanced course. So uh, every week we'll cover one day structures with your live classes, with your quizzes and assignments, you'll get the certificate of course at the end. And then there is an option of live doubt session that um, you know if you are you will be added in a whatsapp one-on-one -on -one group and a common group and you'll be given the option of slack wherein you can actually ask any doubt and the faculty members would come online and discuss with you and clear your doubts so this is how um, data structures course is going to work so in the next lecture we'll be starting with strings so till then have a good day and uh, be productive take care bye bye